Hi there, this is Tom uh, bringing you another daily walk from our walkinchrist.com. Um, so today, actually, I want to talk a little bit about scripture memory. Scripture memory. So this is kind of an interesting thing because I know a few people in my life who actually focus on that, but really only a few. Now, of course, if you go into a church and you look at the children's programs, you look at the Sunday school classes, you know, if you look at the adult Sunday school classes and the kids Sunday school classes, this is funny. Every Sunday school class curricula for a kid I've seen, there's memory verses and churches want to push the memory verses. Kids, do you got to memorize scripture? Hiding God's word. Of course, we know that one, you know, Psalm 119. How can a young man keep his way pure? By hiding your word in his heart. Okay. So we all know that one, of course. Um, and of course, everybody knows John 3, 16 and talking about, oh, what verse do you have memorized? Oh, Jesus wept. Oh, oh. Although most people can't tell you where Jesus wept is, you know, um, John eleven thirty seven. 37. Um, but scripture memory is very important. Now, almost all of the kids programs that I've seen uh, will have a component of scripture memory. Every aspect of, uh, of Christian education will have a component of scripture memory. Why is it that once you pass behind those, you know, you pass outside of that into, uh, into adulthood, scripture memory is no longer a, uh, something to be focused on, apparently. And we're always encouraging our kids to memorize scripture, yet we won't do it ourselves. So it begs the question, are we leading by example? Or are we putting demands on our kids that we are not willing to place upon ourselves? And that's really important. Now, like I said, I know a few people who really focus on scripture memory. Uh, but for the most part, you know, and, and I currently uh, am involved in a children's program that is like Awanas, where we have scripture memory. And let me tell you what ends up happening over the years. Now, uh, probably about 10 years ago, when I was in the same program, we actually had kids that would work on these verses at home. They'd actually come and uh, they would actually come, you know, for the most part, prepared. Obviously, there's a little bit of study. There's a little bit of practice. But as of late, what I've noticed, even the kids at home now, now they're just coming and they're looking at it a few times before the teacher comes around and they can say it in a short-term burst. But if you ask me what that verse is, the overwhelming majority of those kids can't tell you. They don't know. They haven't memorized any of it. They've done a really quick little short-term thingy, put a few verses in their heads, and that's all they're doing. It's really all they're doing. Now, that is a little bit concerning because we as parents and, and adults and, and leaders in the church, we're demanding that these kids uh, really learn scripture, but what we're not doing is learning it ourselves, okay? <clears throat> And that's important that we start doing that. We start getting back to ourselves hiding God's word in our heart. Because, in fact, many times we have just as much temptation, if not more, uh, to fall into inappropriate things. And why are we telling our kids to memorize these things if we're not doing it ourselves? So I think even among our leadership pool, and I don't know personally, it's not a pool that I know as deeply as, as other people in my life. I'm not sure anybody else but one person really focuses on scripture memory. Um, but I do. Uh, I take it very seriously. I really do believe that how can a young man keep his way pure? By hiding his word in his heart. You know, and uh, I'm not going to say exactly what I have memorized, but I have significant chunks of the Bible memorized. And it's not actually hard. Uh, it just takes a little bit of a process. It just takes a little bit of, uh, of walking around, a little bit of figuring things out. Uh, but with that being said, we really, uh, really want to focus on, um, on committing things to memory. So I want to talk a little bit today about how we actually do that. How are uh, the best ways that we do scripture memory. Um, number one, uh, and these are the tips that I've used to memorize actual books of the New Testament. Um, number one premise is that you set aside a specific time in your life to actually, uh, to actually do it. Um, so we, 
Uh, basically what this is gonna mean, uh, for me, you know, some days are Monday nights, some days are Sunday nights. Kind of depends from season to season, year to year. Um, right now it's Sunday night. I'll sit down Sunday night and I will spend some time looking over the specific passages that I want to memorize. So you read them. Um, uh, you read them over and then you recite them without looking at it. This is that short-term thing that you can do that I, I fear most kids are doing now. You do this little short-term thing, it works. So what ends up happening is uh, you read it, you cover the words, you recite it, and you do that about 10 times. And then what I do is, now that's the only time I set aside to actually work on it. Everything else is just as I'm walking about life and just doing things in life. Because what I'll end up happening is go to sleep at night. You're laying there in bed. You recite as much of your verse as you can. You're in the shower. You recite as much of verse as you can. Instead of listening to the radio, which for most of us listening to the radio really is um, not necessarily listening to good stuff. Um, instead of doing that, say a couple verses and then turn on the radio, you know? Uh, but say a couple verses first. Just get into that regular habit. Now, I'm not a huge fan of putting verses all over the place. And the reason I'm not is um, it, it provides too much of a crutch to look at them. So you're relying more on the written notices you have laying around and a little bit less on the, um, a little bit less on the uh, memorization yourself. The other thing to consider in scripture memory is that um, we all have, I mean, almost all of us, I can't say we all, but almost all of us have a smartphone that we constantly have a full Bible um, in our pocket at all times. Two major Bible apps. Uh, you, if you're watching this on YouTube, you probably already know of these, but um, the uh, version is one of them and the Bible Gateway is another one. Both very similar. I actually have both of them on my phone. One of them is what I use for my regular read-throughs. One of them is what I use to look up random verses throughout the day. Um, another uh, another trip uh, uh, trick to get down is that I always use the same translation for my memorization. This way I'm not getting caught up over different language stylings. Like if you really like the King James, go for the King James. Not my personal favorite translation, but it is really is, is a decent translation. Um, I personally do the NASB because I like the direct transliteration. Um, but there's NIVs very easy. Uh, ESV is very easy. There's a lot of translations you can work from. But one of the things I highly recommend is that you stick to one Bible translation and you kind of keep to that. That way, you know, you're always remembering from the same exact points of view. So number one, pick your same translation. I'm kind of, I don't take notes when I do these talks. I'm sorry. So I'm a little out of order here. Number one, pick your favorite translation. Stick with that translation. Number two, set aside 10, 20 minutes. Uh, once or twice a week to review the verses with the text, cover things over, hide them out, um, recite them to yourself, and then just fill in little spots of your day. Whether you're taking a walk, um, I found for me, uh, running is a great time to go through and recite all the verses I know. I'll just read entire, you know, recite entire books to myself while I run instead of putting on headphones like I used to do. Uh, so that's a very uh, a useful way of memorization. Um, and just get into the philosophy that it's actually important. That really is going to be the best thing for you to memorize scripture. And uh, I'm sure there's some other things. Uh, if you check my blog out, there's actually some other more thought out uh, tips on me Bible memorization. Uh, you can find those at ourwalkinchrist.com. This has been Tom with A Daily Walk.